if you're choosing a new or second-hand saddle, preferably this should be done by a professional. However, there are several things you can do in order to help the process and ensure you get the best possible fit. A useful guide to seat size can be measured from the saddle nail head either side of the pommel to the midpoint at the back top of the cantle. Measuring an existing known saddle may help in this process. Ideally, you should have two to three fingers between yourself and the back of the saddle. The saddle will be most comfortable if it was purchased large enough for the rider to avoid the rise in the pommel. To fully assess the fit and comfort of any saddle, ideally, it should be ridden on the horse. When putting a new saddle onto a horse for the first time with a flop panel, it will look a little raised. This should not be excessive. With the saddle girthed up and the horse stood on level ground, it should look principally balanced. When you have your saddle fitted, make sure you use a basic saddle cloth or thin numner such as this. To keep the saddle clean so the horse has the same feel and texture on his back so as not to spook him. When mounted, keep the horse in walk for four to five minutes to allow the saddle to settle and fully locate. Check the girth tension. Ideally, horses should be worked in trot and canter and over small jumps if required. Some movement may occur as the saddle settles to the horse on new saddles or recently reflocked saddles. Work the horse on both reins. Make sure you feel comfortable and the saddle feels even and balanced. Ensure that your horse moves freely and comfortably under the saddle. Make sure that you have two fingers clearance over the wither at least. We recommend that a professional assessment of the fit of the saddle is carried out at least twice a year, maybe three times for competition horses. This allows for seasonal changes, diet, and work changes in your horse's life. This can result in changes to the fit of your saddle.